Okay, if you well, I think I just made the stupidest mistake ever. Having the new MOS fed in, I hooked this up in that Commodore over there. Because it's got the head unit and all the wiring for the original amps originally had. Everything was still there but the amps and the car was sold, so I used the existing setup and wired this up. And it worked. And this last MOSFET that was here, everything else worked with that last one popped. I couldn't figure out why until I noticed when I soldered it. There was a little bit of um, this soldering blade left over from the previous job. It had shorted these two bits here together. The, the um, collector and emitter was shorted together right, the, the way I soldered it. A very couple, little couple of strands of this were left behind. And it shorted together. I couldn't see why it was doing it until I looked really closely. And I saw that they were shorted together. And it blew the emitter off my new fit. I got another one here. As a replacement. So... This one here also tests good, so I'm going to put this one here in and see if, um, this is another one I've got. Put this one here in, if it doesn't pop and it runs good, it was my bloody solder that popped it. Then if it works, and they smoke and it runs good for a couple of minutes or so, or however long I'm going to test it for, it's bloody fixed. So, hopefully I can get a good solder job. It's a bloody pain in the ass solder and something like that with a soldering iron like this, so let's see what happens. Okay, viewers, I've got my little weak um, 12 volt power supply here, a very little cup to test it and I hook it up and make positive faith going from that. And the pop fit's still working but swimming like a bitch because it's blown. Now, between these two, I've got 4.5 volts, it's exactly the same with them and them. They're all getting the same. And both those two, I've got nothing, they got nothing. There you go, nothing. And those first two, I've got nothing. But this voltage is getting four and a half volts is going into them. But these are actually working. So, must be something that I have to try and find. Where I'm going to find the find where they're getting four and a half volts from. Say so here, say to the resistor, and to this diode or something like that. Yeah, 4.4 volts. Let's go in and come on out to them. So we're getting the 4.4 volts out of this transformer. There's power going through it. It's getting through the, um, to the circuit power and the amplifier up, but that one fits just screaming. Yeah, when well, I did a test here, see if I can do it here. I get my tripod to show you how to test them. Okay, if you want to go try and get this close if I can. Then right there. Volts DC in my multimeter. Now I do notice these caps get warm, so one of these have actually gone short for when they when they popped. Connect power. All right, now I go from start with a good fit. Z four and a half. 4.3 between base and emitter, between collector and base. Oops. Nothing there. Oops. Nothing there. And nothing there. But this way, I get voltage 4.6. 4.6 and 4.6 Those caps are getting warm but the output of this power supply I'm using is 4 wave rectified and it is filtered very crudely just with a capacitor from its output Yeah, they're a bit warm those caps The other ones are all cold Okay, there was a low current and that thing's screaming like a bitch it works fine all the channels are working. Well, this channel here I tested so far is working. Those speakers are working alright. Just got to find out. Something on the output of this. Maybe a schematic for this will help me out a lot. Because I haven't got a schematic for this, so... They seem to be doing fine. These ones here are replaced. That's working. They're pretty warm. The output of that is filtered with a big capacitor there, so... 
Yeah, it's getting warm for no reason, so let's get this. See how long it goes for. Brought in. They are working from a distance. It's getting shorted somehow. It's going in that leak. And it's just shorting out. Yeah. That leg there is getting, that third leg is getting shorted out. So something on the output that's trying to switch on this one burns up. So something else has popped on this, off this part that's coming off this transistor switching. But it's working okay now on low voltage. Well, that is screaming. But if I've seen to put a high amp through it, it'll just blow up and stop working altogether. So this is feeding something that's shorted. So the finding, yeah, a schematic for this will probably help a lot. So, but yeah, at least whatever these are driving and the circuits working fine, they're working pretty good. It's just, just that one there, that one MOSFET. Just gonna find what the hell is shorting in the circuit there. So yeah, thanks for watching.